A wolf in sheep's clothes. A gatekeeper. A shill. A lone wolf. That's who I am, a lone wolf. (laughs) And I'll tell you, to be honest with you, the more that I learn, the more I'm glad I am. I'm finding it harder and harder to trust anybody in this whole truth movement or whatever you want to call it. I see people doing wonderful reports on different issues and stuff. And then when I look further into it, I have to backtrack on them as far as who they are and what their agenda is. I'm going to start off by uh, talking about uh, my time as a host on Renegade Broadcasting. Uh, one of my favorite guests that I had on was Dr. Cynthia McKinney, former congressman, uh, congresswoman out of Georgia. And during my interview with her, oh, well, actually, the day before, we spoke for a couple hours, and I told her about things that I had been connecting concerning Donald Trump and his uh, involvement in pedophilia and uh, tried to get her to look up some names. And the main one that I wanted her to take and pay attention to was this guy by the name of Paolo Zampoli. It's an important name if you really want to connect the dots. He's connected with Jeffrey Epstein, Gliss Lane Maxwell, uh, the Clintons, uh, And uh, actually, uh, the um, the he was the United Nations ambassador to the uh, Dominican Republic just shortly after Laura Silsby got caught for the second time of smuggling children out of Haiti into Dominican Republic. If you guys don't understand, that's all the same island, and it's kind of split in half, the poor people in Haiti and uh, the well-to-do in Dominican Republic. During that same period of time, the Clinton Global Initiative and the Clinton Foundation is now set up, and they're doing their deal. And this is just after the Haiti earthquake. They had made Bill Clinton the UN ambassador to Haiti. Well... Nevertheless, the interview was very interesting. You guys can go into the Renegade uh, archives or, uh, you know, that, sh- that, that video may be up already on uh, my BitChute and Bit.Tube channels. I- I'll have to check or you can go look. But it, nevertheless, um, the interview was very interesting. She brought out some uh, stuff actually even for the first time ever speaking about it. And it was not just about the dying core uh, child trafficking and the grilling of Rumsfeld over 2.3 trillion during the 9/11 investigations, but during that same period of time, she had m- m- spotted a whole uh, swath of Israeli Mossad agents attending a closed session. That's a closed session of Congress. The, only the House and the uh, congressional members or the House and the Senate are only allowed to be there. And so what they were doing, they were uh, they were gagged so they could only talk about certain things about 9-11 uh, or bring up any kind of uh, questions or whatever. So uh, it was a control, total controlled scene there in um, this meeting that uh, we're talking about. But at any rate, so to to get into the point of this, is that shortly after this, and she brought out important information, and I was trying to get her to dig deeper into this thing about connecting Trump to this pedophilia. And what my uh, research shows me is the dirt that they have on that motherfucker is probably so intense, and I would line it up, and I still say this today, that the fucker's probably been doing child snuff licks. Uh, I'm not saying that lightly either, folks, uh, uh, with this. uh, But at any rate, so what I wanted to go to with this that makes me glad that I'm a loner and I I operate 100% alone uh, is that uh, right after this uh, interview that she did, Robert David Steele, a clandestine CIA operative, 
connects himself to her with this unrigged bullshit. And, you know, he came out, he's like Alex Jones fucking nutball uh, at any rate. And so he attached himself to Cynthia with this unrigged shit. And this is the guy, child sex slaves on Mars. That's Robert David Steele. He's been on Alex Jones all kinds of times. And, you know, he's like another Steve Pachinik, you might say, a uh, 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 psyop a asshole. So, um, and so the reason why I want to go into this is because I uh, had spotted that uh, this, uh, oh, what the hell is his name? Jake Morfonios. I'm pretty certain that he's been tracking my work prior to me being shut down off of YouTube. Uh, I have evidence of this, uh, and, and it shows up in his actual reports. I'll report on something one day, and a day or two later, all of a sudden, oh, he's reporting on it, but it's nothing to do anything like me. And I'm going to go further on this shit, too. He's, he's a, a self-proclaimed Ron Paul guy. Folks, it, you need to understand, Ron Paul is constructed it has been controlled opposition in the Senate or the, as a, as a congressman for 35 fucking years. He's a high level Mason. His fucking son is Israel first or as, as long as a day is. And, uh, so look at anybody with any common sense and knows anything about how, uh, this APAC and all these other guys or the Rothschilds, especially the Rothschilds, if you don't do what they want, you wind up dead. So it's you take the gold or you get the lead. So this fucker to be uh, uh, running around Congress for 35 fucking years talking about in the Fed or audit the Fed or anything, never got anything done and was allowed to operate there as the controlled opposition. Okay? I know that's going to hurt your feelings if you're a Ron Paul supporter. I'm sorry. I'm not here to make you feel good. But nevertheless... I have to go into something. I just watched two of the most heart-wrenching uh, videos about uh, the Paradise Fires. And um, I actually just got through uploading one to BitChute. So it's up just prior to when this is going to be uploaded. So you guys will get to see this video. But the part that I kind of, and actually it's been like this for quite some time, is this guy attached himself to... Uh, uh, Deborah Traveris. Now, Deborah, Deborah Traveris had kind of disappeared for about two or three years. I was following her way back when. And, um, well, he, when she came back on the scene, she came out swinging. And she's the one that came up with the Rothschilds plan to burn up California. Okay. This is the United Nations Rothschild plan. And and then I get this guy and I start looking into him a little deeper after he starts in with this bullshit about trying to uh, lay all this shit on the Jesuits and taking away taking away any kind of finger pointing towards the actual culprits and that would be Rothschild and the Jewish power structure. These guys are the ones that's involved in it. You know, but he wants to lay it off as Jesuits. But let's take a step back, folks. If you do any research on the Jesuit order from their founding was infiltrated by Jewish power. That's from day one. You can look this up. So anyway, he attaches himself to Deborah Traveris. And now I like Deborah, Deborah's work. She's a trooper. Uh, and I'm wondering, well, so what, why is this agenda? Why is he doing this? Now, after looking at this report, he did, and I concur with most of the report, which you guys, I'm sure you already watched it by the time you see this video. Uh, and maybe you are you won't agree with me, but I'm telling you right now, there's something going on there that, uh, well, for one, if you're going to take the uh, attention away from the Jews, that's a big issue for me because they are the one behind it. The Rothschilds are the one behind it. But he says, oh, they're just the bankers. That's what he said. Quote, he, they're just the bankers. It's the Jesuits. Just look at the Jesuits. Don't look at the bankers. Don't look at the Jews. 
So uh, it, it just as I sa saw in Robert David Steele after I'd had my interview with Cynthia McKinney, which I was bringing out some heavy shit, but still nobody looks at it. And that's about this Paulo Zampoli, his connection to Trump. His, his, the, that's the matchmaker, folks. That's the one that was running Melania as a hooker. Th that, that story's true, okay? Cutie, the magazine that brought that out, they never recanted their fucking statements. Never. And, well, I mean, there was lawsuits going around and all this other shit, you know. Uh, but Cutie, the Sylvanian magazine, it was a, like a, a gossip column. They never recanted their statement. And I see why, because, well, she's a communist Jew. And so we got a communist Jew bitch in the fucking White House under Trump who's run by who? Communist fucking Jews. I'm like the first guy that started speaking about that shit and connecting the dots. Now, now, uh, I, I see that Jake Morphonios is uh, this uh, guy used to be, what, what the fuck was End Time News Report? He didn't, that channel never went down. He just rebranded it and threw it back out at you. Why? Because people were calling his shit as, as a, a, a disinfo fucker. Uh, at any rate, so, and then this also ties into this fucking cocksucker, uh, no more news, uh, Adam Greenberg. But at any rate, uh, I, 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 I'm going to play uh, some portions of this clip uh, just so you see where the guy is repeatedly trying to deflect the attention away from the this. And I think it's very important that people understand this. So, you know, the, the point is, is that you can't trust anybody. It's like I see people posting up shit about Venezuela, okay? Now, Venezuela is an important uh, uh, place to look as far as this border invasion because Colombia and uh, Colombians and Venezuelans are, are being ushered in to this, uh, uh, what's going to be the new Turkey. Mexico is going to be the new Turkey, uh, as uh, Turkey went in and um, invaded, I mean, they were released. They basically were told to go in, go in and flood them. And so we've seen all the migrant, the, the South African, and I mean, the African invaders and everybody we uh, bombed into smithereens. And I've done a lot of work on that, you guys. You already know that. But, but getting on to this is like, who the fuck do you trust? I wouldn't even trust me. Look me up. Look up everything I say. Don't fucking count on me and put, put me up on a pedestal. I make mistakes, but I'm telling you right now, I'll never uh, uh, intentionally deceive anybody because I have nothing to gain. I take no money. No money uh, uh, supports my work whatsoever. You'll never see me asking for money. You'll never see ads on my shit. I don't allow it. Uh, uh, period. And not only that, but fuck back when I was a YouTube partner, they wouldn't allow ads on my shit anyway. And they usually were restricted uh, for all of Europe anyway. And then age restricted and then, you know, inappropriate. Uh, somebody complained, although it still has a hundred percent approval rating. I mean, I've showed this shit to you guys before. They don't like my reporting because I'm pointing to the fucking head of the beast that's what needs to be gone after and i'm just wondering what the fuck is this guy this guy that's infiltrated and embedded himself with uh deborah traveras is he gonna try to defame her work by because she does point to the rothschilds just like and you and agenda 21 you and agenda 21 is that's rothschild you can't fucking deny it rothschilds run that is Rothschild's tool, you know, okay, the, 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 the uh, fucking uh, Rockefellers had their name on it, only in name, but they are subservient, subservient to Rothschilds, even when David Rockefeller, most people don't know this, but when he died, he only had three billion. It's very, uh, uh, it's a mirror image of J.P. Morgan when he died. Everybody thought he was the richest guy in America. No, he wasn't. He only had about, a, I think, a hundred million, uh, maybe a hundred and ninety million. It was pittance. He, he should have been a multi billionaire. Uh, everybody thought he owned G, uh, GE and all this shit. No, nah, he didn't. 
that was all Rothschild. He, it was Rothschild money that he was lending out to start up Rockefeller Oil, Standard Oil, the Carnegies, uh, all these guys, uh, Edison, uh, uh, all that shit. That was all Rothschild money. So uh, I, I'm just like, well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and roll a little bit of this clip into the spots that uh, is important for you. And, Maybe I'll come back and, and give some more commentary on this shit. But I'm just telling you, man, you can't trust a fucking person in this so-called truth movement, man. Uh, at any rate, uh, it's, oh, yeah. And so let, let me backtrack on something. I, 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 I seen somebody, a friend of mine, actually posted up some shit. This guy, Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore's already been fronted out as a, a, a little Jewish uh, muffin. And, um, well, so he's got, he's got Abby Martin on. Well, if you're on RT, especially if you're a host on RT, uh, you're, you're a, a Russian bot. Okay. But at any rate, so she's got her own thing going now and she went down to Venezuela and did some good reporting on it. But the fact of the matter is she doesn't talk about is the Israeli connection slash when you say Israel, don't forget folks, you're speaking about Russia. Israel is a Russian vassal state. Israel is run by Russia. It, all the connections lead from Israel to Russia to Trump. Trump has been run by Russian mafia since the 80s. Minimum. Okay, here's that clip. All right, and this is the State of the Nation report. This is the date of December 2nd yesterday. The story's getting out. Um, and this is, the, we got to question this stuff because they're not, they're not being truthful here in these reporting of these operations. State of the Nation is a, a right wing, uh, Trump supporting, you know, hey, they're going to drain the swamp. Everything's going to be okay. You guys can go back to having your lives. Uh, but I don't trust the site as far as I can throw it. Paradise lost is the term I'm using. They're using my term. Paradise demolished. They're changing the term to pyroterrorism. Uh, this is the campfire picture. Yes, apparently we don't have any documentation, but we have to verify what they're saying. And yes, that sounds reasonable as well as a lot of the other aspects of this guy's report. By now, I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure you already watched the report. But there's places that you're going to see that you got a question. And before you go sharing this kind of shit, you should try to look closer at what they're actually saying to deflect or what they're not telling you. That's an important aspect. Uh, it was like the folks in paradise were on high rise bars on windows and their doors were bolted shut from the outside. We do know it was genocide. We have first person accounts that the cars were in one lane. They sat there and then they were torched. They, we also know that it started at 630 in the morning and by 830 in the morning, the tax got much greater and they waited till everybody was in their cars. They waited till the kids were in the school buses before they torched them. This is first person accounts we have. We have bo bodies in cars that were melted through the seat springs and they had to look down in the cars to find the body bodies. I'm sorry, but this is what the victims are telling us and we need to get it out there. I'm sorry. All right, so now this is what really chafes me. This is from an intelligence analyst and former U.S. military officer. Who? Who is saying this? We can write anything we want. This is accurate information needs to be put out, you guys. You need to say names. You can't just put something down and say, oh, it's somebody we don't aren't going to tell you. No, they have to come clean and tell their name, okay? Here's what really happened in paradise, okay? This is the Rothschild crime syndicate. No, it's not the Rothschilds. It's the Jesuits. There's a lot of people out there talking about the Rockefellers and Rothschilds, but they do not take it to the next level for whatever reasons. Stop talking about the Rothschilds. They're the bankers. They're the court Hof Judens to the Vatican and the Jesuits. Let's stop talking about the Rothschilds and let's stop talking about the religious purging of all Christians and heretics. The fourth vow of the Jesuits. Read it for yourself, folks. It's extermination time. That's what they're doing. All right. They wanted for land, gold, mineralites, and UN agenda implementation. That's probably true. There's multiples. There's also lumber. There's also the, uh, the, the five mega dams they're putting in California. There's also the, uh, the railway lines, the resources. California is being turned into a resource extraction country, con uh, company, actually. And paradise, either they're staking their claim or they're putting something serious up there we'll get into. But let's stop talking about the bankers. The bankers aren't running it. International banking cartel, 
Google Bank of International Settlement in Geneva, Switzerland, owned, yes, by the Rothschilds, who are the bankers. The Jewish Encyclopedia, which uh, the Rothschilds, or Jesuits, is what it's kind of leading to. That's the title of this. The Jewish Encyclopedia, Volume 2, page 497, admits that it is a somewhat curious sequel to the attempt to set up a Catholic competitor to the Rothschilds that at present time, that would be in 1905, the latter uh, are the guardians to the papal treasure. If this latter statement is true, the Rothschilds control, in addition to their own fortune, the immense liquid resources of the Catholic Church, which is second only to the Rothschilds' wealth and power. So, not to mention that the Rothschilds uh, were loaning the, the, the Vatican money. So, that's how they get their hooks in you people. And if you don't accept the loans, that doesn't matter where you're at. If you don't accept loans, you get assassinated or uh, they run a coup, uh, regime change. That's what's been going on. We've been watching it, watching it, and watching it. All these regime changes and shit like that, that's to force them into debt. That's how they get you. The treasures for the Vatican. Let's take it up a notch, folks. Let's stop talking about the Rothschilds. All right? So taking it up. So here they say the banking cartel and U.S. nations by large and small intelligence agency says. Now here's where it gets really bullshit. This is a picture they're using to get to you inside. This is from Iraq, folks. This is a picture from Iraq. This is not a picture from... <laughs> What happened in paradise? Same thing. This is not, we've seen this picture before. We've been reporting on this for a while. So you have to throw out this article when they're, they're bullshitting you with the pictures they're putting in and a story unsighted by anyone. People, there's the biggest story of the year, bar none, and it's huge. So you got to get it right, state of the nation, and you're not getting it right. Not this getting is the takeover of all the lands. This is Agenda 21 on steroids. This is the Georgia Guidestones where they've stated there's 97% too many people in the world, and they put it in the finest granite in Everton County, Georgia, two and a half mile, two and a half hours north east of Atlanta, Georgia. They put in stone in the Georgia Guidestones, number one of their Ten Commandments in eight different languages. We have to reduce the population or keep the population at half a billion people. Take seven billion, divide by half a billion people, and get their number. This is what they're doing. This is the Georgia Guidestones. I actually went and visited it. It was very serious intention, and, and somebody put up these stones, 19 and a half feet tall, weighing over two and a half tons in eight different languages, saying we got to keep the population at 500 billion. Pope Francis, the first Jesuit in 600 years to be the Pope. What's the agenda? The agenda is world domination and to exterminate all heretics and Christians, as laid out by the Jesuit Fourth Vow. I will hang, waste, boil, flay, strangle, and bury alive these infamous heretics, rip up their stomachs and wombs of their women, and crush their infants' heads against the walls. I'll leave it here for you to read the rest. It is ugly. And they're counting on us being quiet. Well, I, for one, and others of the truth movement are not going to be quiet. So this idiot wants to tell you that the uh, Jesuits are doing everything, but he's not telling you that, je that the actually, just look it up. Jesuits are Jews. All right. And all, not only that, but the Rothschilds completely control the Vatican through their finances. They've been loaning them money. You can read uh, Curses of Canaan by Eustace Mullins. That will explain a lot of that. Uh, look, I can go on and on busting up this shit, but he's intentionally misleading you, folks. So it's no longer conjecture. It's no longer if they're doing that. It is that they are doing that, that they are using drones, that they are attacking us for genocide purposes, that they think there are too many people in the world, and we know who they are. They're the men in black. They're the ones that want to exterminate 95% of the population, and they're doing it. Well, I, had, I thought I had everything marked off. He did mention uh, Diane Feinstein and her Jewish husband. They both were Jews. Uh, he mentioned them shortly, uh, just about the 28 miles of uh, the, the so-called high-speed rail that they're uh, building. They got the contracts for a billion dollars to build uh, 28 miles. Uh, he, he mentioned them, but he didn't mention the fact that they're Jewish. I think it's pretty fucking important. At any rate, I don't care how good your reporting is if you deflect from who the uh, enemy is. 
because even Sun Tzu says, know your enemy. And even in the Bible, it says, my people will perish for lack of knowledge. Okay, so here's the knowledge. The knowledge is that this is a Jewish operation from start to finish. It's a, it's a new a Jew world order. They say it themselves and they're from, from their uh, rabbis all the way down to the people themselves. Uh, not, not, even the, not only that, but it's not Zionist Jews. It's Judaism in, as a whole. They believe that you need to go. You need to die. You need to die or you need to be their slave. They say it, not me. They say it. You call it hate speech if you want. YouTube hap happened to think that this kind of talk was hate speech, but I don't give a fuck. If you guys can't look a little bit closer at what you're posting, um, I'll kick you to the curb too. I don't care. Uh, th this is about the fight that we're in, and you guys need to be more mindful about the things that you watch and you uh, broadcast out to others. Because you don't know what they're going to pick up on and, and how, how much more difficult it will be get to get this kind of message out to others. So with that, you know, and, and I love you all out there. Look at the, you guys are fighting, the, especially you guys that are fighting for this message that I produce. I think you pretty much believe it's pretty accurate. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't be po posting it out. Uh, but but uh, uh, if I make a mistake, let me know, you know. I'm, I, I'll remove it or change it or whatever if you catch me in a mistake. I'm about getting accurate information. Just like I said, the Bible says my people will perish for lack of accurate knowledge. Anyway, with that, you guys, uh, if you didn't get a chance to watch that full clip in uh, all of its uh, detail, it's the uh, video that I posted just before this. Don't forget to subscribe to me on BitChute and Bit.Tube, both under the moniker Wardo Rants. And uh, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, you know, you guys, buckle up, pull up your boots, cinch up your pants. This battle is on. And you see what I get to wade through, this kind of bullshit. With that, I'll let it go. Wardo Rants, out.